everybody, it's Anne Marie from Four Honey Bees Cottage. I thought it would be fun to do a little behind the scenes of um, what goes on into making the cottage, the cottage at Christmas. It is quite the production and I thought it might be neat for you to kind of get inside my head a little bit of how that happens. Um, as you know, we close the store for 12 whole days to decorate and it takes every ounce of those days and we put together um, almost a performance of what goes into each um, room because it really is a big production. Um, but the process starts for me way earlier. Um, Tracy and I went to Atlanta in January and to get inspired to do shopping to buy for the store for this season. Um, and immediately when I walked into the Mackenzie Childs um, showroom, I knew what was going to be the centerpiece for me. Um, it was the Marley Bone Collection. I fell in love with it. It is named after um, a shopping district in London, um, which made me love it even more. But um, the pattern and the combination um, in this deep scarlet red color really, really struck me. And I decided that it was going to be the inspiration um, for the living room at the cottage this year. Um, I love this table. It is so beautiful. And the combination with the little gold dots um, and that deep red color and the signature Mackenzie black and white check, it just, it really spurred the whole thing for me. Um, as you know, every year I love um, to have a little bit different theme, but this year we did two Christmas trees and seated, seated between it are, is the under, underpinnings um, love seat, which is so precious with the little buttons behind it. Um, you can see with the tufting, it just is so sweet and um, such a great usable size. Um, and I think the price point will shock you. Um, the red on the Christmas trees this year, um, I just, again, I was really struck by that combination of white, black, and red. Um, so that is really what I themed up um, with a big thick ribbon. I fell in love with these lamps, um, also part of that same collection. Um, they're just such a great stately size and so usable, um, you know, on a console table. Um, and also the little Marleybone um, clock and box just, just really inspired everything for me. Um, some of my other favorite things were this find. This is a new vendor for us this year. Um, but I just loved this little um, toy shop for Christmas. Um, he's just so stinking cute. Little things like this, um, just I can just totally see my kids loving. Um, it is also a music box. Um, over here, we always have um, a lot of our Lumineras. This year, we have them in the red sparkle, which I just think is such a pretty Christmas touch. Um, a lot of plaids, a lot of poinsettias in those colors. Um, this is called the garnet magnolia garlands and i just think that they are so beautiful with the mix of the pearl and that deep red color um super super pretty we also did in here all of our little gift napkins um great grab and goes if you're going to a gift exchange um there's some funny ones in here let's see let me read a couple um <laughs> i'll just hold this up <laughs> so, as you can see, we try to keep it fun and light here, um, but then some also really pretty ones. Um, Mackenzie did a whole theme of penguins this year, too, so we have those here. Um, little gift enclosures. These are This is a new company for us that everybody seems to be loving. Um, the cards are just so sweet. They're $1.50 each. You can't beat that. Um, here are our gold lumineras um, and also our pine cone lumineras that have been really popular this season. Um, we did the mantle a little different this year. I wanted it to be um, a great combination of the luminaras and showed off uh, all the different sizes and textures. We have um, just our typical ones that we always have with the ivory color, but we also threw in the birch and the tapers. Um, but I wanted it to be a mix of something that I would see in an older home and I just love the use of using leather books and um, and really decorating this mantle with the logs and the moss and just the feel of it all just kind of gives a really pretty Christmas glow. So this is just one room out of I think there's 10 rooms here at the cottage and um, 
I'm going to be doing a little, little bit of a preview for each room. So keep your eyes open and we hope you tune in. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.